Shalom. All praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Bahasham Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. I am your brother Makola from the Great Millstone Jamaica camp. With a lesson here to feed the potential, like through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham Yahushai. And I want to do this moving in the spirit based off of you know conversations that we've been having, having you know certain brothers here in Great Miss in the Great Miss Stone Jamaica main camp, you know, um, the elder brothers, and um, you know, oh, we basically should treat each other and look out for each other and certain judgments, you know, basically that passes and you know. And you know stuff like that, you know, and Yahweh shall return, and you know, as the, as the Lord would says, said, um, for as much as you do anything, basically for any one of his his disciples, you know, you have, you basically do it for him, you know, whether it, whether whether it be good or whether it be bad. So um, I want to read Philippians two, and this is a quick quick lesson. Philippians two verse one, and it reads. If there be therefore any consolation in Yahweh Shai, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord of one mind. Being of one mind, meaning we're supposed to be perfectly knit together we're supposed to see things alike spiritually no we all came from different walks of life I'm not a, I'm not a brother that's into video games I, I don't play video games for personally speaking I don't even play I don't play any sport you know brothers always say yo Makola come on let's play exercise to get some you know I'm not that type of person and then you have brothers that do play sports, you have brothers that into video games, you have brothers you know, into certain things that I am not. But that doesn't mean we aren't in one accord. See, we have, to, we have to get this balance right. We have to get this thing correct. Being of one accord doesn't mean if a brother play a video game, for example, that I have to play video games, no. Being of one accord, meaning we have to see things as the scriptures say. And we're going to keep the scriptures to the best of our ability. That's what it means of um, being in one accord. Man. You understand? In one, and in one mind. Verse 3 says, Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each, yeah, let me say it again. It says, let each esteem other better than themselves. And as Shapar would say, you know, that that part of the text here would, would seem like it's hard. But we do we do it every day as men to women. You know, you'd you'd make certain sacrifices. You would stay hungry. To ensure that your woman is okay. No, I can remember about when I was about 19 years of age. A uncle of mine said to me that, "Look, everything with every, every animal or every creature that have seed is stupid." And I asked him why, and he said to me, "Notice the dog. When the female is is." basically in inner heat the, the male would journey miles just to get get to her and you're gonna have other dogs trying to rip him he, he, that, he, that specific dog doesn't he, he must he, he, what's the chance of him being the one to impregnate her he, it's like one out of a hundred you know and um boys flinging stone off of him and he have to be home back before daylight. And he, he, he also used a comparison of, of the rooster. The rooster, if the roost, rooster catch an insect outside, he's not eating it. He'll, he'll, 
call for the end to eat it so he prefers to stay hungry and likewise he mentioned men which goes back to the scriptures that look you know you work all day long in the hot sun you lift well I can tell you you know because you know laboring in the islands is different from laboring like in, in the states because in the states you, you have machines not that that is easy work but it's easier you know labor in the island you know like let's say let's say for example we can't we cast in a decking not many not many of us can pay a premix truck to to come and pump the concrete and get it rather off easily so some of us have to get that shit and mix meaning like two three men on the mixing board and we use in buckets line of men sometimes it take two three days depends depending on the size of the decking and we work hard work so hard to get that job done but when we get our pay instead you know we enjoy the fruits of our labor first for the most part some of us you know we take that shit and we guess who give, we give it to women you know as the scripture said by this now you should know that that women have what dominion over you may have men <coughs> that, that basically <coughs> Salakia You know the scripture speak about men speak, Stealing You know just to please their, their love You know and so on and so forth Seal it upon season And that's the reality So if, if we can, can esteem these women that ain't really loyal to us when, when, when you really check it and not that I'm knocking all women because you know you have women you have, actually you have women out there that when you, you pick her up she wasn't a virgin but she, she she's trying to hold it out to some degree with you you know she might be she might be because you're not gonna get her a hundred she might be annoying and nagging and stuff like that but she she don't give away the, 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 the thingy thingy you know if, for lack of a better term you know so i'm not gonna knock them like you know like every woman but the point still remains that you did meet her as as a virgin so the reality is just as you're not perfect she's not perfect so but but you would willing you would make that great sacrifice for her how much more a brother and Yahweh I said it best greater love at no man than to lay down his life for his brethren you know remember Janet, the love between Jonathan and David man it was great surpass the love of women see you have to think about brothers man in your decision making you have to be a brother's keeper don't be like Cain you know anyway let me get back to the scriptures um, back to Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 says let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Right? No vain glory here, man. He says, Let this mind be in you which was also in Yahushai. Remember, Yahushai is king of kings, Lord of Lords, man. The Lord, the Lord became servants for his disciples' sake ministering unto them the Lord remember the Lord washes his disciples feet and he's the Lord he's the master that's the reason why Yahweh shall say yo I call you friends brothers because what servant is he that knows his master's will just paraphrasing as I'm driving you know so don't try to be the dictator of all the Lord's heritage man the brothers man even though being brothers it comes with boundaries same way it comes with it's a balance you know and we have to find that balance you know it, it doesn't mean you're gonna have brothers just doing shit to take it no that's not what i'm saying you know you have to find that that balance you know we have to find that balance you know we have to we have to get this thing right no more than ever no more than ever right ah uh, says let this mind be in you which was also in Yahushai who being in the form of Yahweh thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh which is the heavenly father because 
Yahawashai was in was in this heavenly estate. You know, he, he remember he is the high priest of the heavenly Father. He is the one that sits on the right hand of the heavenly Father. You know, he's our mediator, really. You know, he is the perfect son. Yeah, the Lord is the perfect son. So you know. Who thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High, right? Verse 7, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant when he came in that flesh, right? And was made in the likeness of men, meaning <coughs> Joseph and Mary did not have sex. You know? That's how the Lord was conceived, was made in the likeness of flesh. And that's how flesh generated man through the act of sex right it says and being found in the fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross you can imagine we saw we see so much videos with people reenacting the crucifixion of the lord and got whooped across their asses man and want to fight but the lord actually took it humble himself unto death and having all the power in the world yeah to fight against it but didn't that's humility man that's pure humility and and reality is we're striving to be like that man we don't know we, we, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm not at that point you know we, we, we're trying to be there it's not easy you know we never say at any given time that it was going to be easy right verse 9 says wherefore the more so i also at the isle exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that the name of yahweh shai yeah <clears throat> every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that yahweh shai mashayak is lord the glory of yahweh the father Eh? Verse 12, wherefore my beloved, as he have also obeyed, not as in my presence only, but no much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, so you know this is we have to be humble, brothers, you know. Yeah, and, 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 and one more thing I must say, not all rebuke is gonna come soft. <laughs> you know. Not all rebuke is going to come soft. Sometimes the rebuke is going to come harsh. Not necessarily the way how you want it to or you, you would think. But at the end of the day, you have to just accept it, man. Because that, that's the way how the Lord wanted it to, to come out, you know. With that, I want to say, Shalom.